Hello, it's Aaron here with Disruptors. I'm here with Alex Casada. He flew all the way in from Orlando, Florida. We're gonna find out a little about him. My name is Alex Casada. I'm from Orlando, Florida. I have an investment company called Vault Ventures and my wholesale operations called Quick Cash Offer. So first off, what do you do in the real estate space? My main focus right now is self-storage. Okay, we've been buying self-storage facilities for the last two and a half years. We just did our ninth purchase on May 5th. And, uh, but we also own and operate a, well, I own and operate a wholesale operation in Orlando, Florida. We do like 20, 30 deals a month. Draw a little bit as early, but when you got into self-storage, what made you kind of flip the switch from wholesale to self-storage? Um, wealth, you know, going to, looking to create wealth, uh, go bigger. And so we, own a lot of properties, single family houses, and to go bigger, you gotta get into bigger assets. And so self storage is a great asset class. It's very um, low maintenance. Um, and at that point in time, it was a lot lot less talked about. Uh, it's very big right now, a lot of um, big money in, in uh, institutional money in the buying up self storage and consolidating. But um, it's a, it's, it's Especially for to build wealth. Do you think self storage something you could also do virtually, or is it more something you'd have to do locally? Uh, you can do virtually. So we just bought our first one in uh, Houston, Texas, and so that's the first one out of state. But all the properties I have in in Florida are at least two hours away from me, almost. And so you don't have to be, you know, right around the corner from you. You know, we have uh, on site by appointment managers who will check out the facility and then we have our asset managers in our office who manage those managers you had someone living in your self storage can you please tell me about that because i didn't get to the end of it i was looking for part three i was like where's part three at <laughs> uh part one uh, well so that facility we actually just sold the facility it was uh made 1.3 million dollars in 15 months um but that property we bought the property and there was just this box literally four by five box mm -hmm. no windows no electric just metal box essentially and this lady was living in it and she said she wasn't living in it but every time i go by the property whether it's 6 a.m or 2 a.m she's at the property and huh. so we told her she had to leave she got very angry with us and threatened us to shoot uh, us with the, the little metal gun thing what? and uh so we called the cops and we you know i have my social media guy with me yeah recording you know kind of vlogging kind of stuff and we posted online and kind of went viral got like 10 million views on instagram how common is that like it's very common <laughs> like <laughs> like at least four or five properties we've bought have uh people living in the, in the facility so what made you get into self storage you said about two years ago two and a half years ago yep like what was what did you about that so i've actually well learned about self storage in 2017 but i had my old wholesale operation still running i couldn't it didn't uh i had to be in the day-to-day -day, so i wasn't able to you know focus on self storage i needed a yeah. run this business the wholesale business get it automated and now i was at a point where now i could focus on something else because my brother is in a position where he pretty much runs the whole wholesale operation for me right. and now i can focus on self-storage and go all in on self-storage so i can tell you tell me your brother and that just going through instagram like seems like you're very family focused how important is family to you oh super important like my, my little daughter she's five and a half my wife spent a lot of time with them the family we're moving uh we're building a house on a lake next to where my parents live my sister lives down the street. Our office is like five minutes away. So we want to, you know, stay tight with everybody. We're going on a couple family trips here in the next couple weeks. So That's beautiful. Yeah. And what would you say the biggest lesson you've learned so far? Um, the biggest lesson I've learned so far, I'd say is like really uh, go bigger. Like I wish I went bigger earlier. Um, you know, the same time it takes to do flipping a couple houses, you can flip a self-storage facility. The same amount of time it takes and effort takes to do a, 20,000 square foot self storage facility is the same as 80,000 square foot self storage facility. So obviously you can't always attract those bigger ones, but you know, if you can get started with the 20,000 square feet, just look to go bigger as soon as possible. All right, my last question for you though is self storage. I've, I've heard a lot about it and you know, it's, I kind of feel like it's one of those words, it's kind of like land that you hear about, not, not a lot of people know about. Someone that's new into real estate or that's might been, been in real estate for some years, want to get a self storage, what advice do you tell them? Um, so a lot of people who, who ask me about self storage are people who are already in like wholesaling. Mm -hmm. And what I typically tell people, man, is the same concept. It's just a different list mm -hmm. and just different questions you ask. Um, it is more of a business than just real estate because you have customers, not tenants. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's more like a business and you have to have, uh, very high skills of like operations. So you have to like really, 
it's a business. So you have to operate it correctly. Revenue management, it's a little bit different than real estate. Real estate. It is like a, a business. So um, you got to treat it as such. Well, if you're looking to get into self-storage, make sure you guys check out Alex's podcast on real estate disruptors and hit that subscribe button. Sorry. <laughs>